Welcome. Today we're going to look what's inside Terraforming Mars Prelude. Now Prelude is one of the expansions for Terraforming Mars. And there's quite a few different expansions. One recently just came out called Turmoil. There's another one called Venus Next. There's another one called Colonies. And then there's an expansion that only in, only in adds a, game, a new game board for Terraforming Mars. And that's all it adds. But the rest of the expansions add a lot more. Now this is actually a pretty small expansion. Um, and so there's not much in it too much. But it adds so much new variety to the game that it's a must for Terraforming Mars. It really adds a lot more fun to the game for Terraforming Mars. And it makes things go a little bit faster if you're playing with Prelude as well. And you know, everyone likes a game that's a little shorter than others, obviously. So let's kind of go over some of the stuff that's in here. Now, if you've played Terraforming Mars, you're familiar with... Um, these types of cards and it came out with seven new cards that you would add to the game as cards that you would start with that do a variety of things this one is definitely my favorite card it's called psychrophiles and it works with microbes now i'm under the assumption you guys um know how to play terraforming mars and have played it at least a couple of times so you understand that role. And I will do a how to play video slash some gameplay videos of Terraforming Mars shortly. But I thought we'd go over this small expansion beforehand. So if you want to know more about how to play this game, I'm going to make some how to play videos. But let's just go over what this does. Okay? So, basically, as an action, this, this is a blue card. Blue cards are action cards. So you add a microbe to this card. Now a microbe will just be like a little cube. And you'll do these little cubes for everything. Including microbes and steel and um, animals, etc. But you'll add a microbe to this card. And then the effect is when paying for a plant card, microbes here may be used as two mega credits each. And this isn't a plant card, this is a microbe card. But there are cards in here that have plants, and this one actually doesn't add any new plant cards to the game. But there's quite a few plant cards in this game. Because when you think about it, when you're going to terraform a planet, well, you need to, you know, plant trees and things. So plants and animals have a lot to do with terraforming Mars. And so you can use microbes basically as a currency. Because that's what credits are in this game. It's the currency. Mega credits are currency. And so this card, if you have it, which is one of a kind, this card's one of a kind, you can use microbes as money for any card that has that tag on it, the one with the leaf, which is really cool. And it only costs two credits to play. A lot of these can get pretty expensive. But what's one thing I like about this expansion is they're all relatively cheap. There are definitely a lot of cards that cost like 30 26 around that range and most of these are in fact all of these are under 20 so that's really cool then we have the lava tube settlement this cost is 15 and you can also use steel as part or all of the amount instead of instead of credits and you'll have a this one will decrease your energy step production one step. Now that means if your energy production step is zero, you can't play this card. So that's a requirement that this card needs. Now I didn't go over Psychrophiles, but you see the max temperature is minus 20 degrees, meaning if it goes beyond that, you probably can't play this card. There are exceptions to that rule, but even so, most likely you will not be able to play this card if the temperature already exceeds minus 20. So this is a card you'd definitely have to play in the beginning of the game to make it worth your while. This one requires an energy production of at least one to decrease it by one to zero. And then it will increase your mega credit production by two steps. Another thing that this does is you get to place a city tile on a volcanic area. Same as Lava Flows. So there's a card called Lava Flows in the game. And if you've played uh, 
If you've played Terraforming Mars, you most likely know where all the lava areas are. And so you don't, this one doesn't say those lava areas. But if you don't know where they are, you're definitely going to have to try to find the Lava Flows card so you can see if you can place it there. And that's another thing. If the tiles cover an area, all of the areas that have volcanic areas, then that means you cannot play Lava Tube Settlement. So that's another requirement that you're going to need to play that card. Now this is SF Memorial. Another really cool thing is uh, each of these cards have like a little extra uh, of information for the card. And this one is a tribute to those who inspired us to come. And so that's what the SF Memorial is for. And so this costs seven credits to play. And you can use steel if you want to, in part or most. This also allows you to draw a card, which is really cool. Because in the game, you're going to be drawing a bunch of cards, and you have to pay for those cards normally. Pay three credits for each card you decide to keep. This one is allowing you to draw a free card, meaning you won't have to pay any credits for it, which is awesome. And you see this nice big uh, Mars-looking planet here? with the one on it, that's victory points. So this card is worth a victory point at the end of the game, which is really cool. So it doesn't, it, it's more than just simply let you, let you draw a free card. It's also giving you a victory point at the end of the game. And not all of the cards do that. Like this one here does not. Now this one is called Space Hotels, and the cost is 12. Not only that, but it has a requirement of two Earths. So a lot of cards, not a lot, but a lot of a, a bunch of cards will have this tag on them. And so you will have had to have played at least two cards that have that tag on it, the Earth tag. Now, you might, if you're fortunate enough, you might have a corporation that has the Earth tag on it. You also might have a prelude card that also has the Earth tag on it. And we'll go over the prelude cards later. But if that is the case, you can use those to the equation, and you won't have to play two cards that have the Earth symbol on it. But regardless, you have to have those two in play. And you can't include this into the equation either. But once you've done that, you will be able to increase your mega credit production for steps. Now, the reason why this is so unique is at the end of each year, or generation for that matter, you're going to get a certain amount of mega credits based on a couple of factors. And one of those factors is how much mega credits you're producing each generation. And so increasing this is definitely a step in the right direction, for sure. Hence the production step. <laughs> All right. Then we have another cool card here, and it's called... Martian Survey. It also has an oxygen. This tag here indicates oxygen. And so if the, if the oxygen has gone beyond the maximum of four, you cannot play this card. So that's another requirement, type of requirement you might have that will prevent you from playing cards. It also has a nice little science tag on it as well. Some cards require a lot of science tags that you have played in order to play them. What does this do, though? It allows you to draw two cards. Well, that's really cool. And it's even going to give you a victory point. And the cost is nine. So that's a pretty good deal, if you ask me. Now, another thing about this card is it's an event. If you see an arrow on it, it means it's an event. And all of the red cards are event cards. And so, after you play an event card, it will always go face down. You'll still keep it, because it might be worth some victory points at the end of the game for you. Or minus victory points, for that matter. But... Regardless of the case, if it has this kind of a tag on it, or any tag for that matter, you can't use the tags on your event cards in the equation of, like, for instance, Space Hotels. If you have a, you know, event that has an Earth tag on it, you can't use it for, you can't use these for that. So that is something to note as well. Now we just have two more left that were added for this expansion. Lots of other expansions have a whole lot more than just than just seven cards. They have like dozens. This one is a very small one, like I was telling you. Now this one only costs ten, 
and you can use steel to build part of it, or most of it, or all of it. And what this will do is it will increase your steel production one step, and it will also give you a victory point. Now, since I'm using this as how to play, we'll be going. Basically, what steel does is you can use steel for any card that has this building tag on it, which is very useful. And for every one steel you have, for every one steel you have, that is actually two credits. There's another form of currency in this game as well, called titanium. And for every one titanium you have, it's worth three mega credits. So that's a whole lot better than just a simple mega credit, for sure. And so that's what those do. Then we have research coordination. The cost is four, and it's got a question mark tag on it. Now this is the only question mark tag I have on an actual card. There is a corporation, there are corporations out there that have them, but not in, my, not in this expansion. And there are other cards that will have the question mark in other expansions, but not in this one. So what does this do? Research coordination. After being played, when you perform an action, the wild tag counts as any tag of your choice. So this is an example of how this could work for you. Now you'll recall that Space Hotels requires at least two Earth tags that you have played. Let's say you only have one Earth tag in play. You can play this, then you can play this later and say, I'm using Research Coordination as an Earth tag. And then you'll be able to play this card, because this is now an Earth tag. And you can do it for anything you want, that, it, that you need it for. So that's how that card works. And so that's a pretty nifty card, for sure. Alright, we'll be back in the next video to show you what else is in this expansion.